Hello and welcome to Kankakee Podcast, where we talk about the people and places of Kankakee County. I'm Jake Lamore, and uh, this episode, we're uh, diving into food and uh, internet fame or internet v- viralness. I was trying to think this of a... This is a very niche genre. It is a very, yeah, like <laughs> the most niche genre ever. Um so uh, for for once, you get to uh, you've heard his voice here and there once in a while uh, uh, speaking up on Kankakee podcast, but you haven't seen his face on the podcast yet. But now you actually get to see it because usually he's behind the cameras uh, and he's in our control room across the way. But now I have brought him out up front here, I've right in front it. of right in front of the camera, right in front of the mic. And uh, that is Andrew McBurney. Hello, everyone. Mm-hmm. Welcome, <laughs> Hello. welcome to Kankakee Podcast. Yeah, Jake. I know yeah. I'm I'm playing it cool and everything, but uh, <laughs> this has been a dream of mine for a very long time. Yeah, yeah. You've been, well, well, you know, if if um, if Kankakee Podcast would have existed in uh, what happened of what we're going to be talking about yeah. today, if it would have existed, you would have been on <laughs> sure. for sure at, yeah. you know, right when it happened. And in fact, I think, um, uh, we'll obviously get into what story we're talking about here in a minute, but, um, I think, uh, I was, I was definitely working in radio at the time, but mm-hmm. I can't remember what show I was hosting. I don't know if I was doing middays on river country or if I had the morning show on, WFAV yet. I want to say it might have been middays on on River Country, but anyway, that's besides the point. Um, so I'm going to fast forward to when you and I m- just first met, which is yep. not that long ago. Not too long ago. Um, when you came here to work at Pathfinder, <clears throat> which was probably, you know, three months, mm-hmm, maybe. About three months ago. Probably three months after I started working here, which still wasn't even that long ago either. It hasn't even been a year. Yeah. Um, so anyway, we, we have uh, what we like to call an editing bay or like an editing suite here at uh, the Pathfinder offices where there's, what, four? Yeah, four computers mm-hmm. that we all, the, the production team sits at and we edit. Mm-hmm. Um, my, uh, I used to sit in the editing bay a lot more often until they moved me to a cubicle, um, which I am there now. Yeah, we miss you. And I know, I miss being in the, the, the editing, editing suite, bay. the editing bay. So anyway, you know, sometimes um, we, obviously we start conversation. That's what you do with your coworkers, right? You start mm-hmm. conversations about things. And anyway, one day we're just talking about, I don't even remember what we were talking about, but anyway, <laughs> we're just talking and, and uh, you know, Andrew uh, says something about... Um, I don't know how it got brought up. It was <laughs> the joke. It, it was a joke about something, and it was like, "Oh, Andrew, you'd be famous." Oh, they, yeah, or something along those lines. Yeah. and I, I kind of just assumed I, because locally when the story went around, like people just kind of knew about it, whether mm-hmm. they knew it was me or not. Yeah, and I think I just offhandedly made the comment like, "Ah, again." Or, yeah, you know, you, or, that's right. That's what it was. You said, "Ah, yeah, I'd be famous again," and then I was like. What what, were you, what do you mean again? You yeah, know? and he's like, uh, yeah, I took my um, my my senior pictures yeah, inside the, whole... the the Taco Bell on on uh, Route 102 Main Street in Bourbon A, and then both it was Quinn who was also our, our other coworker who mm-hmm. was in the editing bay at the time we were having this conversation. Both Quinn and I looked at you and were like, that was you? <laughs> yeah. And we were just like, oh my gosh, like I had no idea. Yeah. Um, so that's the topic we're talking about today. You may remember this, you may not remember it. Uh, regardless, it was something that happened. I'm going to see if I can remember the year. Uh, 2017? That's 20? it. Okay. That, you're right on it. That's okay. When I graduated from BBCHS. Okay. 2017. So, um, Here's the the brief of the story, and then we're going to obviously break it down. So the brief is you and a friend. Mm -hmm. Wesley Taylor. Okay, that's right. Wesley Wesley Taylor Taylor got together and just, you know, high school kids being high school kids, you do goofy stuff together, right? Yeah, so so Wes, he's uh, older than me. He uh, was an Olivet student for a time, and he, while he was a student, he... Um, did a lot of local community theater. 
Yes. So I had seen him and stuff at all of that when I was younger. And then I did a few shows with him. Um, I think we were in Cats the Musical forever ago. And then we did Godspell together. Uh, and so that one, we kind of got really close, pretty tight. Um, and he he's a really good photographer. And that's still what he does. He lives up in the city now. Uh, but he, he's got an Instagram page. He does a lot of uh, – real. He's got a lot of bunch of brand deals with stuff. I can't even keep up. Uh, so anyways, he was a friend of mine, um, but it, I had this going for me where I had a professional helping me out yes. <laughs> with my high school ideas. With your high school <laughs> yes. ideas. And you loved Taco Bell. I do. Um, I did and I do. Yeah. And um, so you're like, let's take, uh, I'm going to get all dressed up yeah. and we're going to go inside the bourbon a taco bell the, and we're gonna best one and we're gonna take pictures of me in this nice looking it, i don't know if it was a suit or a tux but regardless it you know very spiffy and you're you're sitting there you're chowing down on on taco bell mm -hmm. and just to give you a, a frame of reference if you don't remember if you never went inside that taco bell um this uh taco bell was kind of uh famous in the area for being one of the Taco Bells that hadn't been updated mm -hmm. on the until, inside. Until recently. Until recently. so killed my soul. <laughs> so the inside of it was, uh, you know, the decor of the last time it had been updated had been a very, very long time. The so, 90s. Yes. So it had a very 90s look mm -hmm. on the inside of it when you went inside. So, um, which painted a perfect picture for these pictures. Anyway, um, Long story short, we'll get into the long story in a minute, of course. Um, you post these pictures online, they go viral, mm -hmm. you end up getting all kind of press coverage on this, and everyone in town knew about it, um, <laughs> and so did everyone across the country. Yeah. Um, lots of major uh, online and news outlets picked up on the story. Um, you got some some cool deals out of it as well from Taco yep. Bell, and yeah. Um, so and then I retired and, and then was, you retired and then it was done. He retired at yeah. Pathfinder. Yeah. See, he doesn't need this job. He just, you know, <laughs> no, I, I, I do need this job. Jake, the, the economy has been tough. I very much need this job. My investments haven't been doing well, Jake. So this is why I'm here. Um, so anyway, uh, we, we kind of, uh, we talked a little bit, um, about the, the, the pre, uh, pre moments leading up to this a little bit with with Wesley, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, what kind of I, I guess maybe maybe this where does this start? Probably with your obsession with Taco Bell, or I, yeah, I guess, and and I don't even know if I'd call it an obsession. It, kind of where it started was I I lived kind of through middle school, junior high, and high school. I lived on Fox Trail Drive, which is like right next to. Um, the park with Safety Town. It's now becoming downtown Bourbonnais. Yeah. Right down there. Right. So I live like a five minute walk from Taco Bell. And say, yeah, Safety Town is, I always forget the name of that street. Um, Stratford. Thank you. Stratford. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Sa it's right off Stratford Fox Trail. It's yeah. just, it's where I grew up. Okay. Um, I had a paper out growing up. So, I mean, I knew all, I was pretty savvy with the area and, yeah. and I very well knew that Taco Bell was a walk away. <laughs> so, you know, junior high, high school, I always had a group of buddies with me and we, a lot of times we didn't have cars. So we'd mm -hmm. walk over to Taco Bell. So just over time, I, I think I remember the summer where I was like, okay, this place is pretty cool. It was when they kicked out Baja Blast Freezes for the first time. I want to say this was like 2015. Yeah. And it during happy hour from two to five, you could get a loaded griller for a dollar and a Baja Blast for a dollar. So I had it memorized. If I go in with four dollars and like <laughs> 17 cents, I can get three grillers and a Baja Freeze. And I did that like every day for a summer. Man. <laughs> and at that time where the calories could just flow through me and you wouldn't know. <laughs> high uh, school, man. To, yeah. To be in high school. To be in high school. Yeah. So it, that was kind of where I guess I was like, this place is pretty great. And I started going pretty often. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of times after school, we'd all go and get Taco Bell. We did it like every Tuesday for a while. And the seat I took my pictures in was my seat. Okay. And like my 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 gang, we we knew that. Like that was that was where I sat. I sat right there in the corner. It was kind of right when you walked into the right, just in the corner. So that was just kind of my seat. And that was really the end of it. I, like 
it wasn't a me. Taco Bell wasn't necessarily a me thing. It was me and my friends thing. We would go all the time, but that chair was kind of my thing. Yes. Um, I don't, I couldn't tell you where the idea started when I you was- don't remember? Not at all. It, it wasn't like I had this moment of inspiration. Do you think it was more of Wesley's idea? Was he trying to build up a portfolio or something? Or were you just like, you just knew- so Wes, yes and no. You it, just knew Wes and you're like, I've got this funny idea. Yeah, I mean, I'll give all credit where it's due. The only reason why the pictures took off was the stuff he did. Like he he captured the vibe so well because he's mm. an excellent photographer. The The concept of it, I came up with somehow. And I feel like around this time, a lot of students were getting really creative with their senior photos. I knew for years I didn't want to have basic senior photos. I knew I always wanted to do something. And I was trying to remember, like you have, you took other senior photos besides this, Oh yeah, right? Th These were just like the fun ones. These were the fun ones. And we yeah. were in and out in 20 minutes. Uh -huh. I, so, and I almost didn't even do them. So it, when I was 16 years old, I was in a show of Godspell with KBTA and Wes was in the show. Uh, he was the leader of the show. And we had kind of become friends and I had mentioned to him, Hey, I'd love for you to do my senior photos. He's like, great. Um, and then I also said, and I have this idea that I kind of had really just thought of. I was like, I want to get a, a blue tux, a blue suit, and I want to go take him at this Taco Bell that I go to. <laughs> that was really just the end of it. I, I mentioned it to him. He's like, oh, I love yeah. it. I'm like, yeah, yeah it's if I be in there, like, mm -hmm. I just would love to get a few in there. And he's like, mm -hmm. great. And that was it. We A year went by. It, there was not a planning phase. It wasn't. It was not this grand scheme I had. It was just an offhanded idea. And so uh, over like two days, I did my senior photos. One day I went up to his studio in Chicago and I got a lot of really kind of moody, um, really. <laughs> <laughs> the typical kind of. Angsty <clears throat> teen. Yeah, yeah. I did the whole yeah. thing. So I, I got really cool studio photos up there. And then we took some over at Olivet's campus. And that's where I went to school and I knew right. I was going to go there. Um, and day of, we're at Olivet's campus. He goes, oh, do you still want to do that Taco Bell thing? And I'm like, ah, you know, because I was realizing like I was going to go, I was wearing a suit and I was going to uh -huh. walk in and take pictures. And I don't necessarily like that type of attention, like that uh, influencer attention. Where you people don't? Are, I don't. I, <laughs> in very controlled spaces, yeah. I, I'll perform or whatever. Yeah. But I did not want to roll up to a public fast food chain with a camera. And well, and, and that was obviously going to be my next question is, did you ask permission or did you have to ask permission or do, did you no. guys just, so we you just went in there, took photos. We and, went in there. And like I said, like it, I almost didn't even want to do it. And, and you I, didn't speak to a manager. Not at all. And no. say, Hey, can we do this? We just showed up and it was empty, which was nice. It was empty. And I think Wes probably went up, Hey, we're going to take some photos. Is that is that out good real quick? Oh, so he... He probably did. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, I, the day was kind of a blur. Uh, sure. Uh, it's been a while now, too. It's been a while. So. Uh, but yeah, like we we didn't as much ask for permission. We just kind of let them know and just made sure that was fine, I guess. Yeah. Uh, and I showed Wes, I'm like, yep, here's my spot. And, you know, he bought food and he organized it really, you know, so it looked really nice. And then... He probably posed me in the in the ways that I was. And I had taken pictures with him for a while because he was building his portfolio. He yeah. had a bunch of people he would ask to take pictures. And well, and you have a theater background. Sure. So yeah. you're, you're kind of familiar with being in front of uh, whether it's people or a camera. Yeah. You know, yeah. Whatever. And I'm a videographer. Or, take, or and... taking direction. And yeah, you had, you've been uh, into photography and video yourself mm -hmm. since you were very young. So yeah. yeah. So it wasn't totally foreign. And mm -hmm. we, we went in, took the pictures and I, I knew they'd be good because Wes was doing them, but it, it turned out so much better and went so much farther than I ever. <laughs> you don't thought. say. Yeah. yeah. I remember the first time I saw them and I was like, wow, this looks like a ad for Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> you know, I was like, wow, very impressive. Yeah. yeah. It, it, we, we were in and out 20 minutes. Uh, I went home like it, mm -hmm. there was nothing necessarily significant about it other than it was just a little outlandish, but like, I didn't have people staring at me, like yeah. didn't okay. think it was going to be too big of a deal. So then, okay, you get done with the photos. Then I assume Wes, he edits them. Mm -hmm. now, I think a week later he sent me some previews. And so are you the one that posted 
the ones that went viral or was that Wes? So it, I posted them. Okay. So it was a week later, he sent me some previews and I was looking at my like, holy crap, like these look really good. <laughs> and the the day, it was like an overcast day. Mm-hmm. So, you know, he was able to get in the windows. Yes, because the, they're like, uh, what, uh, f- uh, Florida ceiling windows yep. practically. Yeah. So, I mean, that was all perfect. And, you know, I, I did my part, I guess. Like I wore my suit. I bought the suit. <clears throat> but, very model-esque. I mean, if you're not well, watching the video version of this podcast, you know, Andrew here is a very good looking guy. So, thank you, Jake. Yeah. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, it. It was kind of just a perfect storm. Like it was that and, the, you know, the I guess I had the idea. And then Wes is, he's very artistic. Like he was able to capture what I was going for so well. So it was just, it just happened to work out. Yeah. In and out in 20 minutes, that's the end of it. Right. He sent, eventually I got all my photos and all my photos were really good. Um, the night I posted it, because they, you know, they were my senior photos. So like they were my photos and I, I did not get these trying to get famous. That's a thing that I think a lot of people ask me was, was this like a publicity stunt you're trying to do? No, you're just Not at all. being funny. Yeah, I was you're being funny. Being I thought yourself. I knew my friends would get a kick out of it. Mm-hmm. I knew that like people at my high school who kind of, who knew me, who knew I really like talk about. Dude, theater, kick kid, out of, theater kids do this kind of stuff all the time. They, that's what I was going <laughs> to say. Whether you're a theater <laughs> kid or just some kind of creative, really. I I saying, mean, I, I've done much weirder know. things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's with, talk about that. Yeah, I like... <laughs> Yeah, it, I, I knew people would get a kick out of it, but I that was seriously just the end of where I was thinking about it. Yeah. And it was the last day of school and I'd gotten all my photos. Me and my buddies went and hung out and it was before I went to bed. I just picked four of them and put it on Twitter. So, now, that so was it. So it started on Twitter. It started on Twitter. Okay. I just, I threw it on Twitter, went to sleep, uh, woke up and it, it did well. I mean, like a hundred people liked it like overnight who were local, which- for, you know, when I was 17, I was like, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah. And for Twitter? For Twitter. And for yeah. Twitter. Yeah. I was like, yeah. okay, sweet. And it had this like short lived, holy crap, Andrew for Senior Photos did this mm-hmm. kind of, you know, just locally people who knew me or whatever. Yeah. And that was kind of the end And I'm sure you tagged Taco Bell in that too, right? I think I, I, I did. So. I tagged yeah. Taco Bell in it. Um, and that was just the end of it. A week or so went by. It was like a little bit of time had passed. And this is the moment where it all kind of changed. Taco Bell saw it. And I all I remember, I was at an Olivet event. Uh, I don't know if it was Celebrate Life or I was on Olivet's campus for something. And I was in the chapel. There's a service going on. And I felt my phone vibrate. And I looked down and it says, Taco Bell retweeted your post. And I watched like, then it was just. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Then it, it, from that then moment, everyone on, else was retweeting it too. Yeah, and that's kind of just where it where it all started. Okay, I didn't realize it started on Twitter. Uh, it was it was yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, and that was the thing. Once they, I don't think it would have gone anywhere if Taco Bell if Taco Bell didn't pick it up. Yeah, and you know after going there, and we'll get into that, but yeah. they're they're really good at social media. Like that is their thing, yeah. and like I got to meet the team. Like mm-hmm. they're they they know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. So I mean they were. I think scouting for like super fans like that to do things like that. Yeah. So they very much gave life to it. Yes. And then from that moment on it, you know, had a life of its own. So how many at that point, it's amazing that it took, it was kind of a, it wasn't an instant thing. It was like about a week later is when it, yeah. you know, when they found it. And well, I imagine, just think of how many tweets Taco Bell has to go through in a day, you know? I know. So maybe not so much at this point, but that's a whole nother story. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, how many uh, like retweets and were were happening at, at that point? Yeah. Do you remember uh, what the number was? No. It Really, if you find the original post on Twitter, it, it's not necessarily all that huge. Like I probably had... 20,000 likes and that's a lot which <laughs> okay for okay that's for a like a twitter post yes it is yeah but like for it was when like buzzfeed picked it up and when like a bunch of other social media companies started writing about it that's that's really what got a lot more viewership so unless you were following taco bell or were one of my friends I don't know. Like my grandma's not going to know about it. Yeah. But did you, po- did you also post those pictures on any other social media? I think platform I put them on my it? Instagram uh-huh. too. Uh, 
I'm really not a huge, like I'm, I go on social media a lot. I really right. don't post too much. Yeah. So I, I mean, I just kind of threw it on there. Uh-huh. Um, so Takapo retweeted it, started to get some traction. Then it kind of died out a little bit. Like did oh. his thing. That was kind of the end. I, it was when Buzzfeed then got it where it really kind of, that's when a bunch of news stations were like, we want to amplify this. And I think a lot of it was like, I remember this was kind of like, like in 2013, 2014, if you had a viral video, you'd go on Ellen. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But yeah. now you, everybody knows somebody who's had a video go viral. Yeah. So this was like the era where having something go big was a bigger deal. Yes. I yes, think. absolutely. So absolutely. I, I think had I done that now, it would have been one in a billion things that are interesting that a high schooler mm-hmm. did. I think it just depends on the the level. You know, there's obviously many different, extre- you know, uh, from extremes to, uh, you know, under the extremes of just being on the more mild end, right, yeah. of being viral. You know, sometimes it's like, you know, someone goes viral and it lasts for weeks yeah. and, and it just keeps going and going and going and going yeah. where this, um, I mean, it started off with nothing a week later, it starts to become something. And then yeah. well, it was another couple of weeks then. Yeah. When it, the, you it, know, it was, it was weird. It got more relevant as time went on. And then obviously it eventually died and mm-hmm. I'm all washed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a what that I'm should a, be is that on your resume a washed up washed viral up, viral uh, sensation it, or, yeah. or my modeling career was short lived <laughs> um, which by the way I mean you still could model what are you talking thank about you. I yeah. I had a window and I I'll kind of get into this I had a window where I mean that opened a bunch of doors right. so I was signed with a guy he wanted me to not go to school and to go to LA and jump into it, whether it be modeling or acting or whatever. And I just chose not to mm-hmm. um, for a variety of reasons. Some of it was I really wanted to go to college. I really wanted to go to Olivet. Um, I never wanted to be influencer famous. <laughs> like I, that, that was not what yeah. I really well, wanted. And I feel like you're not, I, I feel like in this case, you're not an influencer. You just happen to do, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I don't yeah. consider you to be influencer famous because if you were, you would be constantly posting on social media yeah. and having, you don't, you don't do that. You don't no, have. I you know. love, you know, being here in town. I love having people know me. Like I love being in town and always running into people that I know. Right. And a lot of that, you know, I guess I got some of that being from my dad and my family. Yes. Uh, Matt McBurney. Uh, yeah. From, it's fairly well known yes, in the area. Yes. He is. Um, and then, you know, over at Olivet, like I, I had a lot of people knew who I was and then doing a lot of like local theater. So it's like, I love genuinely knowing people here. Mm, yeah. What I don't like about being known over social media is people saw those photos, but they don't know anything else. Mm-hmm. So I th- Coming into, you know, after all of this happened, I then started my freshman year at college. No one knew who I was except for that. Mm. So I resented the whole thing for a little while. (laughs) Um, That was all everyone knew about me. So one common misconception, everyone thought I was taller. Uh, I'm also disappointed. <laughs> I'm just as disappointed I, as you Trust are. me, I'm just as disappointed. Yeah. Um, so everyone thought I was taller. Everyone thought... I wanted to be a model. Like this was a modeling stunt. I mean, you got the, you had the, you still, like I said, you still have the face for it. Which I, I appreciate, like I appreciate it, but not at all. (laughs) I did like one or two modeling things after that. And it's just a shady industry. I got very spooked by it and immediately. Well, yeah, let's, let's kind of go back to, um, you know, the point where, BuzzFeed has picked it up. Yeah. Uh, Yahoo. Um, yeah. It was, there was thri- Refinery29 Refinery was big. Uh, Teen Vogue was big. BuzzFeed was big. Now, all of these now aren't as big of a deal, but back then they were much bigger. Oh, of a deal. absolutely. Uh, Yahoo News was big. Yes. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if like some of the national uh, morning news shows probably. I did one like, morning show yeah. interview. Did you? Okay. Mm-hmm. For, uh, do you know what it? No. It, it wasn't like Good Morning America. No. Or, it was, yeah. it was in Illinois, but it wasn't mm-hmm. like Good Morning America. Okay. So but, maybe like some of the Chicago. 
yeah. morning shows. It was one of those. Yeah. I got up at like 4 a.m. I yeah. set up a whole little studio in my basement. Uh -huh. Did did that. Uh -huh. uh, I've never actually seen it. I just kind of did it and then went back to bed. Oh, we're going to have to look for that. <laughs> um, so yeah, all of that's happened. And then is this the point where Taco Bell reaches out to you? Or? Not yet. Okay. So, so May so then, May was when I posted it. Yes. June was where it was getting a lot of attention. Okay. A lot of people were writing about it. And so I was doing like email interviews. Um, Daily Journal, they of they course. did something with it, which yes. was really cool. Yes. Uh, it was the front page. It was yep. really awesome. And I delivered the Daily Journal for years. <laughs> yeah. So for me, like, it well, was huge. And if all these national outlets are picking it up, of course, it's going to be front page on the journal. Yeah. You know? So. Yeah. So they they I got to do a thing with them and then it was done. Uh, end of June, it was kind of done. I signed with an agent in LA because he was like, hey, if Oh, this... you signed with an agent before Taco Bell contacted you? Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. So Because he had so... caught wind of the story and had seen that I had put that I was, you know, I did theater and I did a bunch uh -huh. of stuff. So he reached out saying, hey, if this continues, you'll want to have an agent. I He wanted to get ahead of it. Yes. Um, That's which, always the best place to start, yes. right? You know? So he he got ahead of it and was like, and on top of that, like he he has actors in shows and movies and he's like, and if you wanted to start a career, like here I am. Mm -hmm. It's really cool. His name was Sean Kierwell and I really appreciated him. Um, ultimately, after my contract was done, I, j I just, I wanted to go to school. I did not want to pursue that then. So you, how long was your contract? It was for a year. Oh, really? So, so yeah, you so did he, the whole, you did the whole thing and- yeah, yeah, he, he, and in that time, he wanted to write out whatever this Taco Bell thing was. And he wanted me to start doing auditions in Chicago. And like, he was kind of helping me get started. And I like looking back, like I'm so appreciative of it. I just didn't want to. You just didn't want it badly enough. No, yeah. like people well, around me wanted to. Yes. Wanted me to, like my dad wanted me to, like yeah. it was a really cool opportunity. I just, I wanted to go to school and just uh -huh. be a student. So yeah. that's ultimately what I did. Um, what were some of those opportunities then that you worked on with Sean? Yeah. So I did, I auditioned for an agency in Chicago and it was like, if I got picked by this agency, they were going to be the local ones actually getting me the work and Sean would get a cut. So this was someone who Sean had reached out to and I got an, uh, I did an audition and they, I got it. They were like, Hey, we'll sign you. And then I just didn't do it. <laughs> I see. Um, so did that. I did one or two modeling things and it was weird. <laughs> yeah. Why? When, weird. What, were, what were the, what were they for? It's, I, this is no judgment to people who do that. I just, I felt pretentious. Like I, I. Why did you feel pretentious? I, cause the idea of I am a model of something, the idea of like things should look more like me. I just didn't sit right with me. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Just, I, I just felt icky doing it. And just a lot from what I learned, like, especially, I mean, I'm sure it's true for women, but like men in the modeling industry, like it's. They, and it, this does go for men and women. Like you have to do so much to mold your body into what other people want it to be. That was not what I was trying to do. So you were getting told you needed to look, you needed to, you know, go yeah. to the gym more. Yeah. And Sean you know. never told me that, but like uh -huh. I was starting to have conversations with people in the modeling industry, getting an idea of what that was. And I'm learning about all these different things. And I like, some of I just turned 18 so a, a lot of pe places were reaching out being like, he's legal now. We don't have to go through parents. Oh my God. But I was still like a kid. Oh yeah. So I just, I did, I did one shoot and it was local and it wasn't totally a scam, but it felt like it. I never got those pictures back. It. What was the shoot for? It, I don't even really know. No? <laughs> I don't even really know. It, I, and like, I don't want to blame me for being young, but like I was 18. Yeah. And I didn't have to go through my parents and not say, I'd, you know, I kept them updated, but it was like, uh -huh. I just kind of was doing things and figuring out what this world was, if this mm -hmm. opened any doors and was just immediately kind of turned off by it. Yeah. Now I have a better understanding of what I actually like to do and what I want to do. Um, so I would have handled it a lot better now. I was just immediately irked by it all yes. and was like, okay, I'm going to write out whatever this Taco Bell thing is and then I'm done. Mm -hmm. So that was kind of my summer of like, what's next? Yeah. Um, I said no to everything. I'm going to go to school. That was the end of it. Yeah. Then it happened. 
So then it was like my first week into college and I was Taco Bell kid, which had <laughs> its pros and cons. Yeah. Being uh, a Taco Bell kid. Yeah. Then I get an email to my Gmail account from Taco Bell, Taco Bell HQ. And they uh, finally reach out. They finally reached out and they said, hey, we've seen your stuff. We love it. We would love to talk to you about a, an idea we have. That was it. I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm in. So you were you were interested, even though your experience so far wasn't yes the greatest. Yes, I thing. was, and because it was Taco Bell, right? And it, I it was right at the source. Mm -hmm. Like it, mm -hmm. I I loved Taco Bell. <laughs> like yeah. I, so like if I'm if I'm gonna I'm happy to work with Taco Bell. When you have to pursue your own career and that stuff, it's like you have to start at the bottom and work your way up, and that yeah. just freaked me out. Yeah. So. Basically, what the idea was, was they were just going to partner with Forever 21 and create a limited edition clothing line called Forever Taco Bell. That was the idea. And they wanted to find super fans, is what I was called, uh, to be like a spokesperson for it. So they chose two. I was the male recipient of this, or I was I was the guy they chose. Then uh, the girl they chose, her name is Britta. Uh, she ended up being a good friend of mine, super sweet. We're still friends on Instagram and stuff. And she, I'll, I'll give her this credit. She, she did the whole take my senior photos at Taco Bell thing before I did. Oh, really? Yeah. No way. Uh, I incorporated the nineties theme in the suit. Uh -huh. So, you know, I kind of had my own spin on it, but she's the one who first did it. Oh, no uh, way. Yeah. I did not realize and she, that. She was a bigger deal than my whole thing too. Like huh. she, what was hers? Um, she just took nice photos in Taco Bell, Okay, which- when she did it, it was like 2014, and this was it was kind of it was kind of like oh I've never seen this before. Now everybody kind of does it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> even when I did it, it was like people had done it. Yeah. I just did. I had an interest. It's just like the people it, who get married in McDonald's. Yeah. You know? It's like, like <laughs> okay, don't know why you did that. Um, yeah. Everyone asked me, "Are you going to get married at Taco Bell?" No. And you guys didn't get. Married. No, we did. We did not. <laughs> I don't think your wife, I don't know your wife, but just from the one time I met her, she doesn't seem like she would be like, not yeah, okay. Not at all. Not at <laughs> yeah, all. let's do that. No, she she would rather not be married than to be married to Taco Bell. <laughs> so no, Ashton would not have been a fan. I did not want to. But senior photos, that was mine. Yes. And that's what I wanted to do. Yeah. So um, you uh, so you did this shoot. Yeah. Them, so, so I, they flew I went, you out. They to... flew me out. So I went to Taco Bell two times. And what's great was I was signed with Sean and Sean was out of my, um, what am I trying to say? He was way too qualified to be working with me. <laughs> I see. He, he was really good at what he did. He had a lot of like, I don't know why he reached out to me. I think he just sniffed out that this was going to be a good opportunity. Yeah. Um, but like he knew what he was doing. So, I mean, he negotiated a really good contract for me. Um, so, I mean, I got paid for this. I got all my expenses taken care of. I was flown out. I got to go to the headquarters. Uh, I got to meet with the social media team and they were great. Um, and I went twice and this was all my first semester at Olivet. So uh, I remember it was like I was in Broadway Review at Olivet and I had to miss a week of rehearsals to go to LA. And I was trying to dodge so the whole- I know. <laughs> I was trying Where to dodge the whole Taco Bell guy thing. Yeah. And I was trying to be like, hey guys, like my, you know, my name's Andrew. But mm -hmm. then I had to tell everyone, hey, I'm going to Taco Bell in you, LA. <laughs> you could have just been like, I'm going to visit my aunt and uncle, you know, out in LA. Yeah, I guess I could have. <laughs> I'm in going to Disneyland. I'm going to Disneyland. I would have taken a Disney trip too. But no, right. it was awesome. You didn't For, put that in your contract. I did not put it in my contract. <laughs> but no, the, the, my contract was very generous. It it basically paid for everything I needed for freshman, sophomore year, which was awesome. Wow. Yeah. Not like my school bill, but like I'm, things. I'm buying things for the first time. Sure. Um, so I flew out twice. First time I went, I went to the headquarters and we took pictures and I got to meet Britta. We took pictures in the clothes themselves. Okay. So those, I sent you that link. Yes. They're like still on the Taco They're Bell still website. on the Taco Bell website. Yeah, yeah, which is super cool. It's awesome. Um, so I, I took those pictures. It was just a day shoot. Then we went to Forever 21's headquarters and I took some there too. Um, and that was it. Then I, then I went home and it was great. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else interesting. They, so, so that was the second time you were flown out? Is when that you was all the first time. Okay. That so, was all the first time. Okay. And uh, 
I can't say it enough. Taco Bell was so good to me. Like I would do anything for them again. Like they <laughs> maybe uh, they'll they, hear this podcast and <laughs> I hope so. Like they treated me like an eighteen year old kid who got thrown into the situation. <laughs> like it, yeah, I don't know. I just I I appreciated it. And two of the guys on the social media team were only a few years older than me. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. They I didn't get treated like I was some model or whatever. They were like, "Hey kid, this is really cool. Yeah. You know, let's yeah. let's do something with it." So that was the first time I went. Second time I went was about a month later and I did a fashion show. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Which super cool. I would never do it again. I had a great experience, but just like the f- not not cut off for a fashion show. <sighs> what what is what is a fashion show like? To, to I be? mean, so the it was it was in downtown LA. They like shut down a whole block or something like that. And it was a parking lot and they built a walled in like studio almost. Wow. And it was an invite only VIP Taco Bell party. <laughs> it was so cool. I'll show you pictures. After, Anyone after we're done. famous show up to that? Uh, yes. A, a YouTuber was in the... I don't know who famous went to the event because I didn't oh, really okay. get a chance to talk to talk to him. Um, Rebecca Zamolo, Zavolo, she was a big YouTuber at that time. I met her. I didn't know who she was, but my <laughs> sister did. So oh, I took okay. a video with her and sent uh-huh. it to my sister. Um, but it was we we were downtown, and I think it was the Forever Twenty One people. They were putting on the fashion show. And I, me and a lot of us had never really been models before. So we spent the day there teaching us what to do. And there was a catwalk. Yep. This was like a catwalk. launch party for the, the brand. The, yeah. Yeah. For the clothing line. Yes. Yeah. And so like there were news outlets there and, you know, it was a whole day thing. It was really cool. There's a Taco Bell truck. <laughs> there was a photo booth. I mean, it was really cool. Um, And I went and I did the show and- it was awesome, and then I went home. <laughs> wow! Uh, and there's a I, I had a great experience. Just like I know, if you are working as a model, you do those things often, right? You know, on my cup of tea. Mm-hmm. The the but the food was good. Yeah, right. I mean, well, I would hope so. And they, they, <laughs> yeah, and Taco Bell. They gave me they gave me all of their merch that they mm-hmm. had at the time, and you they, still, they I'm sure me, you still have. Oh yeah, 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 uh, and they gave me gift cards and stuff like that. I mean, they they made it so fun for mm-hmm. me. Um, I still can't believe they didn't give you a lifetime card. To, I you know I get like, asked that so much. I know you do because I, I, I asked you that when this story got brought up that one day we were sitting in the editing bay. I was like, did they give you a card? <laughs> you know, no, give you an unlimited card? They didn't. They, and. I would have abused the heck out of it. So in, uh, they well, made a good choice. because you were a college kid. You oh, know? <laughs> I, yeah. I, I had so much more Taco Bell after this happened. Uh, and I've been asked the same 10 questions for six years. We've hit a few let's, of them. Let's roll, yeah, let's yeah, roll through all of them. Another one was, are you sick of, ta- of Taco Bell? And no, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not. Uh, I have to space it out a little bit, but like yeah. in college, I had Taco Bell all the time. Um, I still enjoy it. I have to space it out a little bit more just cause it doesn't flow through me as, as well as it used to when I was little. Um, but no, still love Taco Bell. That never went away. Um, are you wanting to be a model? That was one. And no, yeah. I don't. Um, I'm trying to think of another one. I got ta- called Taco Bell guy all the time my freshman year. Yeah. And it, so this is, I guess, where I started to like resent it a little bit. Everything with Taco Bell was awesome. Um, and even the social media stuff, like overall, it was pretty positive. It wasn't really a controversial thing. So like I did what I wasn't supposed to do and I went through comments, you know, and I am one of those guys where if there was one negative comment, it would have eaten me up. Yeah. But overall, it was really well received. People thought it was really cool. So like it was overall a very positive experience. It became negative when I started school and no one really knew who I was and this was all they knew about me. So half of the people there just kind of treated me like I was a meme. Like they'd holler at me from across campus, which was cool. Uh, But like after that, they didn't want to talk to me, you know. Then Mm -hmm. the other half just didn't like me. They're just like, he's this pretentious incoming model kid, you know. 
that was the impression they had. I mean, that was the impression when you walked through Pathfinder. I was like, <laughs> look, I looked at this guy. I was like, wow. I was like, sure, he's part of the video team. He looks like he looks like <laughs> a model. What's his deal? You know, what's his deal? Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. If I saw me, I probably wouldn't like me either. <laughs> um, I'm kidding. No, uh, no, I know. But, yeah. Um, no, it just it, and it took me a while to like actually have people know who I was. Mm-hmm. So I. I think that was kind of my mission for the rest of my Olivet career. Yeah. So by my fifth year, people did not know about the Taco Bell thing. Mm-hmm. People knew me for me and the stuff that I had done. Yes, which is what matters to me more. Mm-hmm. Um, and and rightfully so. I mean, there was a lot more to you, but you also weren't the type of person that like wanted to keep it alive necessarily. Like, no, you don't want to kill it, but you're not like um, feeding off of it constantly. No, you know? my yeah, there were. Even at that time, like, I did not think it was too big of a deal. Mm -hmm. I thought it was funny. I thought it was interesting. I did not take it too seriously. Uh, People took it way more seriously than I did. And I'm not saying all that to seem humble. I really just didn't care about it nearly as much as other people did. Yeah. So I did not want to become a jerk. I did not want to do that. I did not want people to think, like, this was what I did. Um, I wanted people to know about the other things that I really care about, like theater and storytelling and video. Like I, I do a bunch of other things. That was what I cared about. Um, so I think since then, my biggest goal has been I don't want to beat a dead horse. Like if people bring it up, I'll happily talk about it. Uh, but I'm not going to try and like self promote. Um, I want this to be one of many things that I'm known for. So ideally someday, I'd love to have another story go out about something. This (laughs) was just kind of by accident. No, this was by accident. And uh, no, thank you for uh, being willing to come on and talk about it. Oh, yeah. I mean- In this setting, absolutely. Oh, well, and and in my mind, like, yes, this is no longer a viral situation. I mean, the viral moment happened in 2017. 2017, yeah. But the reason why I wanted you to come on to talk about it is because, like, to me, it's like it's part of our area's history, you know. Sure. So, like, it's and just that, kind of and to that kind Taco of, Bell is know. a pretty legendary Taco Bell. It is. They they have since yeah. remodeled it. They have. Um, yeah. When they did, my brother and I uh, climbed into the trash can. Did I've not told out, you. Did you pull out some stuff? Oh, yeah. Yeah? What I didn't did you pull tell you out? I pulled out the huge bench. No. It's in my basement. Oh, my gosh. Yes. It's in my basement. Uh, a huge bench. Um, and then I, I took a table and four swivel chairs. So I, I've got the set done. Oh, there. my gosh. Yeah. Wow. I've still got it. Why didn't we record this episode at that bench? That actually would have been pretty cool. That would have been much better. Yeah. I need to build a frame to it because it's kind of mm-hmm. just sitting on the ground. But oh, no, we yeah. we dug all of that out of the God, out of the that's trash. Funny. Um, that's great. Yeah. And then we I'm trying to think of anything else ever happened. Years later, they were it was right before COVID, so it never really happened. Years later, they reached out again because they wanted to buy usage rights for one of my pictures. That's right. Because they were, I think they did, they were creating a rewards program, a rewards thing, and they wanted to feature my picture on their like website or whatever. Then COVID happened. So I don't think they ever used it, but like they have the rights for it. They paid for it. They're still, they're my photos, but like they Mm -hmm. can use it and they didn't have to pay me anything. I would have let them. Right. Um, So that happened. Then the the last, I guess, part of the story is when I was there, it was when I was doing the fashion show, I ran into their video team and I connected with the guys and I got their phone numbers and they were like, if you ever need an internship, let us know. And years later, I reached out and I was going to do an internship with them. Uh, I was going to live in LA. I was going to work like with the marketing team for them, uh, but COVID. Yeah. Um, and California was very much on lockdown. Oh, yes. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, anyways, yes. I had a few like Zoom calls with their video guy. His name was Andrew. Huh. Um, How fitting. Super nice guy. So There's something about them Andrews. I know. You know? It, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then that was that was kind of the end of it. Uh, okay. Now it's just a, an old tale. And you're telling it right now. And so now people uh, are going to, you know, I hope this doesn't like bring back the, oh, you're the Taco Bell guy. Like, that's not really my no, intention. No, no, no. Like, I, that's going to happen after this episode. And you're going to be like, 
I yeah. hate Jake Lamar. No, now I'm all for it. <laughs> I think you, it Jake. was at just this time of my life where I was getting ready to leave my parents' house for the first time. Right. And I was stepping into like, okay, who am I? Mm-hmm. And that was what I had. Right. And I just wanted to break out of that. Now, yeah. whatever. Like now it's cool. So mm-hmm. I don't resent it at all. Yeah. But well, there's, there's just a time it was, I guess, annoying. <laughs> all right, man. Well. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. And, and now people know more about one of uh, the many, uh, you know, and uh, team members here at Pathfinder. And specifically, you're one of the ones that uh, is usually behind the controls. Yeah. During the pod, during our podcast recordings, if it's not you, it's Matt. Who Matt? Thank you very much for uh, thank you, Matt. Yeah, for manning the the board uh, right now for us. Uh, yeah, so it's usually. One of you. Yep. So, yeah. Yeah. When I was, and I've told you this, I I was a fan of the podcast once you started it. And so I watched it for a long time. So I've been just slowly trying to get my way to this moment (laughs) right here. And I I had no, see, you knew that. I knew that. But I didn't know that until, you know, it just got brought up one day. So yeah, thank you. Yeah. No, and I've I've loved my time. Thank you for for saying that. I'm very flattered. Yeah, absolutely. And I've loved my time here at Pathfinder, I think. Pathfinder's doing a lot of really cool stuff. Yeah. Um, and I love that it's all very local oriented. Um, so that's a really cool thing with this podcast is you get to bring on people who are from here. Yeah. Uh, and do cool stuff here. Yeah. So my hope is you can invite me back someday for another cool thing I they'll, do. They'll be but if this cool is the thing. only thing, I'll take it. No, you're doing I'll cool things it. all the time. Well, so, thanks. Yeah. Um, I'm I'm sure there'll be something. What it'll be, I don't know. But I don't know. I'm sure there'll be something. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Thanks again. Thank you, Jake. This river